It's all we've thought about. We've trained for it. We've lived it. We've breathed it. Ashbourne in Derbyshire is normally a quaint market town. Get it! But once a year it rocks to the beat of one of the world's great sporting traditions. We will all do all we can do for our cause. It's not just local rivalry at stake in this streetball game, it's the very origins of football and rugby. It's been played in this town for, we think, about a thousand years, and we intend to keep it going, but it's a medieval game played in the 21st century, which is not easy. Exactly a hundred years on since it was played in the trenches by soldiers from this town fighting in the First World War, it was rather fitting that this week a former player of the game got to throw the ball into the crowd to commence play on his 100th birthday. Best day of my life. I've gone down a better time in my life, is that? And so it begins, a giant rugby-like scrum involving dozens, sometimes hundreds of people, consisting of two teams, the Uppards and the Downards, depending on which side of the river you're from. <laughs> it was rather cosy, and I could see why it's also known as hug ball. This is the edge of the, the so-called hug. You can see this throbbing mass of people, one team trying to get the ball one way, the other team trying to heave it the other, and this can go on for hours even. Get in life, come on! Totally enjoy it, it's marvellous. Just keep pushing. <laughs> The two teams, the Uppards and the Downards, depending on which side of the town's river you're from, are trying to break the ball free from the pack to get it to their runners so they can get it to their goal. But the goals are three miles apart, and so the river is often a key battleground. Come on, Downers! And the ball can be stuck in the scrum for hours as play treacles through the town past bewildered motorists and hundreds of spectators. Now, private properties are out of bounds, and it's a tribute to the organisers that injuries are rare, even without a referee. But we don't need a referee, we know how to play fair here in sport. The players referee themselves. We have a number of marshals who do help with the, with the flow of traffic and they're always on guard for anyone that may be in, in danger of, 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 say, a crush injury or something like that. But we have very few injuries. Just touching the ball is an honour. So you can imagine that actually scoring by tapping the ball on your stone goal three times is the stuff of dreams. And if you do score, you keep that ball forever. It's immense, brilliant. Best feeling you could ever have. And we ran about five miles with it, but this man here 